Hey guys, Stephanie here. So in this video, we are going to be making some collage fodder. Um, I made these strips here. Well, actually, you know, it was a long sheet of paper and I just cut it down or whatever. This is collage fodder. So I wanted to just make some different kind of backgrounds other than jelly printing and stenciling and things like that for uh, my journal layouts, you know, just some kind of I don't know, just some different colors and things like that. So I use a lot of neons when I created this. And this is on rice paper. I'll show you. This is on this paper, the calligraphy rice paper. that I get, You can get this at Daiso, but uh, Amazon sells it. And I, if I remember, I will put a link down in the description. So you can get the exact same paper on Amazon. All right. So that's what this is. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, layered it with a bunch of paints and inks and sprays and, you know, like we normally do. Because I wanted to just do like a little messy, kind of messy art background. So that's technically what is, I think you call it, messy art. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be creating in this video today. So these are gorgeous, right? They're so pretty. And you see they still have bright colors, but you can still take them down, you know, take down the backgrounds and stuff with sprays and things like that, right? So I think that's just beautiful. So today, though, I think I'm going to use more softer colors since I'd used the brighter colors last time. A lot of these are neon pinks, neon uh, yellows and oranges. And I had like six different colors and I mixed them with some other acrylic acrylic paints. And then in the live stream, I created this background with some of these. So you see it does it does have some, um, you know, some brightness to it, but it's not so screaming in your face. Right. And then, I, you know, I love bright colors. That's one of my sort of my go to things. A lot of people don't like bright colors, but I love them. I love all the colors I love jewel tones, muted tones, the darker colors. I love them all. But I tend to gravitate towards the brighter colors. So that turned out beautiful. I think this little uh, small layout in my little Arteza journal, art journal. So, yeah. And then, you know, I did some paint on here and some inks. I use some of the acrylic inks to sort of blend it in the background. It turned out great, right? Really, really good. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to just be making some messy backgrounds for collage fodder. Now, what you can also do is take your punches, you know, your different punches, your butterfly punches, your circle punches, things like that, and punch, you know, punch out different shapes with your collage fodder. So you'll have, so you'll have different types of things, you know, to use in your art projects and your journals. Okay. So let me set everything up and then we will get started on our messy collage art background. So I also pulled out some copy paper. This is copy paper from the Dollar Tree, but any copy paper will do. And pretty much any paper will do. Um, I like this rice paper because it's a little bit thicker than like the real soft, soft rice paper. So if I did a punch out on this, I could still punch out a shape using a punch and it will be fine. Of course, the copy paper, we know that works. So I'm going to try to do some designs on both of these. So let me get a couple of these sheets out. I'm going to try to use the rice paper first. And what I'm going to do is in between drying stages, you know, I'm going to put some stuff down, let it dry a little bit, then work on the next sheet like that. So we'll have a couple of sheets and I also pulled out my Posca markers in different colors. So I have an idea to do to use those and in a couple of pencils, my Derwent go to um, Ink Tints pencil in Bark. It's my favorite. And then I have this fine touch uh, multicolored pencil, you know, has the different colors in it. I got these, I don't know, a couple of years, maybe two or three years ago uh, at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to try to use that. So we, I will show you what I'm going to do with that in a second. But I kind of wanted to tape down this paper just because I don't want it to move. And I mean, you don't really have to do this, but it's something I wanted to do because I felt like it was easier. <laughs> Because I am going to be spraying it and, um, you know, spraying it. I'm going to put some ink on it. I'm going to use acrylic inks, acry acrylic paints, acrylic inks, sprays, probably some stamping and the pencils and the ink. We're going to use, use a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to tape it down just a hair here. Just so it won't move on me because I have on my glass mat here. But I guess you can put it on the table. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to do this. It's just a personal thing I wanted to do. And it's kind of crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to start my background here. And what I'm going to do is just take my, my ink tense pencil and bark. So what I'm going to just do is just do like this. Kind of intuitively, right? Just make some messy backgrounds. 
and then that's it right so i'm gonna take my other pencil and go the other way right again very uh intuitive see this is what i want to why i want to tape it down so that's you know i'm gonna take my posca markers just kind of drying out a little bit so i'm just gonna just do the same thing kind of messy in the background All right, and I'm going to use this one. This one is, um, what color is this? What color is these? I can tell y'all. Uh, this one is called light pink. All right, and then this one is like a turquoise. Aqua, aqua green, that's what this is called. Aqua green. Aqua green, yes. <laughs> all right, so. All right, this one's nice and juicy here. All right, so that's what we're going to do with that. All right, messy art, right? I'm gonna take my yellow one. This one is uh called just yellow. All right, all right, and just put it on there. So what happens is once you put your paint or your inks on there, all this will kind of sort of be blended into the background. That's the whole idea. All right, and then um. I don't know. I might use a little black here. I don't really need it, but yeah, very intuitively. Intuitive doodling. <laughs> we'll just say, call it doodling. Okay, so that's very good doodling there. So I'm going to put some of uh, some paints down, just some sort of lighter colors that I have kind of right around me. You know, I didn't want to go have to dig through the whole paint section of my Oh, that's a lot <laughs> of my uh, studio here. And this is, which one is this? This one's called Vintage Rose by Folk Art. Let me show you the brands I'm using. This one is a satin. It's one of the uh, Target paints. And it is called Eggnog. Well, Robin, Satin Robin's Egg. That's what it's called. So. And I'm going to try to use some of the lighter sprays too from the Tim Holtz because I don't always use those, you know, like the um, ambers and the Kitchen Pink and things like that. So we will see, guys. Uh, this is a Maggie Holmes acrylic paint. All right, let's put that on here. It's kind of a baby pink. And then uh, I have some others up here. These are all kind of similar colors here. So let's get a yellow. We need a yellow. And I need a green. <laughs> so I'm just using like, you know, kind of some bright colors and some more um, like softer colors. So we're going to have to mix them. I realize that because I don't have all of my colors up here. But that's okay. All right. Oh, wait, I do have, hold on. I do have this <laughs> mint julep green. There you go. Let's put, I have this one called vanilla custard by Dilutions. I'm going to run out of room on this plate. I didn't want to get another plate. So, all right. Oh, that's pretty and soft. All right. I do have a few colors up here. And then I have this chalk one, but I already got pink. So, all right. Oh, and I have like a coral too we could use maybe. Okay. All right, and then I pulled out this this color here. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'll just put it over here in the corner. <laughs> Hopefully, I remember to use it. All right. Now, so what we're gonna do is just take our paint, dip our brush in it, and just kind of go around. That's just kind of just like we did with the pencils, right? I just like to do the swirly motion. <laughs> but you can do up and down swirly. You can do you know do your scripting thing, whatever you want to do, right? And you have to let it dry in between stages. Otherwise, you know, you'll have a muddy mess. That's just my recommendation. If you're going to do anything like this, you know, it needs to dry in between stages. And it dries pretty fast because this paper is kind of thin. So that helps. Okay. Okay. This is a brush I'm using. I'm using the Fine Touch. Fine Touch. I can say it. <laughs> uh, round 16 brush. That's it right there from Hobby Lobby. So uh, I did this kind of similar to the way that I did my backgrounds on the black paper. If you have not seen that video, check it out. Okay, it should be coming out before it should be out before this one. But uh, I did something very similar to that. So yeah, we're just going to try it on rice paper and with some softer colors because sometimes 
working with different things like, you know, different colors or inks or something like that tends to give a different look. So I wanted to try it, you know, both ways or whatever. So again, you can probably do this with any paper. Deli paper, I don't know. If you're going to punch it out, deli paper is super, super thin. You probably could do that. But, you know, I save my deli paper for my jelly prints. That's just what I do. But you can do it on any any type of paper you want. So I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to do this green. It's a little, uh, she's a little muddled here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm liking these softer colors, kind of almost um, shabby chic. So probably the next one that I do like this will probably be the deeper colors. Because I did the bright colors, I did these colors, and then I'm going to probably do the deeper colors. You know, like the... Um, the coppers and the turquoise and, you know, the magentas and all that sort of thing. Those are my favorite colors too, right? So look at that. That's cute. That's coming together nicely. So we're going to dry that. I, I tend to dry in different um, stages, each stage. It does take a little longer, but I just don't like a muddy mess. That's just my personal preference. <laughs> Again, when if people are doing, they're doing something like this, do you do you, you do your own thing, okay? So I'm going to dry this. I'm just going to continue to add the colors. Let's try to do yellow next. All right. This is a little bright, but I probably should use a softer yellow. Let's try that. It does make a, a pop, make it pop a little bit, huh? Let's do the softer kind of, it's like more beigey. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, she's pretty. We'll mix it a little bit. We can mix these colors. I think I like this color. That's so pretty. Yeah. I said Dilutions color. All right. So all we're going to do is just tear this up and put it, in, you know, punch it out. Use our punches on it or tear it up and put it in our journals or cut it up. Either way, you know. So I'm going to dry this now. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to continue to add the paint, the layers of paint. And, um, you know, that's it. And then once it's done and everything is dry, I will show you the finished result. You know, so you get the idea. I just wanted to do a couple of layers, you know, to start. And then, um, and then I will show you what the next step is next step is after it dries that's so pretty that's really pretty with this turquoise oh i like that let's get a little bit more of this turquoise in here okay i like these colors very nice okay so yeah very pretty i don't know if i'm gonna add this green because i think the green would be a little bright because the yellow is bright and i like it but i might just add a little bit once this dries i might add a list a little bit more pink and then I'm not sure about this purple. I don't know. I might add it just in, you know, for, for in places just with my finger because it can be a little over overpowering. I don't want it to. I had a certain look in mind when creating this, if that makes any sense. So, all right. Let me let this dry. I had a little pink. It's kind of bright too in places. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. All right, so I think that... Um, I think this is all I'm going to add, all the paint I'm going to add. I did try to add this little uh, purple here. I don't particularly care for it. So, so I'm not going to add it. I just put it down here just to see, and I thought, mm, no, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought about this coral. That might be kind of pretty. I might add this. I don't know. I'll see. Let me see. I'm going to test it. Because also, you know, it can... Oh, well now. That might work, huh? In certain places. Okay. I might add it in little places here and there. So that might work. Kind of just put it in certain places here. Kind of make a, a little pop of color. It's a little bright still. I kind of wanted to keep it soft, but apparently I don't have enough uh, soft colors. <laughs> All I have is bright colors and deep colors. So 
have to use what you have, you know? You can improvise. That's what we're doing. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. I love that. So that's kind of a nice background. It's a little softer than what I normally work with. Uh, I tend to like bright colors or deep colors, like I said. All right. Now we're going to let this dry. And then we'll add some, probably some sprays, a couple of sprays. And like, I'm probably going to add my rusty hinge, maybe a little rusty hinge. Maybe a little of the salvage patina. I had, uh, I might add salty ocean, maybe. We'll see. Just because I have it right here in front of me. And uh, I have a couple of others. Tea, tea dye. And then th this kitchen. So, yeah, I'm going to also add those in stages. I'm going to pull out my tea dye spray. My tea dye spray stain. Yeah, that's it. So, it's just like this is just tea dye. So, I'm going to pull that out and then we'll add that. And then I'm also going to add some of this, this ink for like mark making and stuff. So the Chinese ink, the gold black ink. I can't see that. That's what it says. Got this off of Amazon. I will list this in the description as well. Okay. So yeah, we're going to do these up. They're going to be fabulous one time we're done. Right. So we can punch them out or glue them, you know, uh, put them down in the journal or whatever we want to do with right. them. Okay? So this is mostly dry. This is what it looks like. It's drying beautifully. And then I started another one here. And I'm holding it kind of the long, you know, is it horizontal? <laughs> no, horizontal. Yeah, vertical. Vertical, I think. <laughs> so I'm holding it this way. I put it this way. And um, I'm just kind of, actually, I just took it and kind of did it, you know, moved it around with putting the different paints on it. Because, you know, we already did that. So I wanted to try something different. And it's coming out great. So I love that. All right. So that is drying beautifully. All right. Love that. And then, um, here, let's just, all right, we'll just dab that. I think I want to put, well, here, let's go back to this one. While this one is drying. All right, so what I'm going to do, oh, my tea spray. Right, so I got my Mermaid Lagoon out just in case I want to use it. And then my tea spray. So this is what I'm going to do here. All right. Just spray it like that. Okay. And then um, my water here. You can spray it with water or you can dab it. Either way. Either way. And then let it run, you know. Give it that effect. So let it run different ways. Like we normally do with all of our you know, papers and stuff. Dry, let it dry, of course, before you add it the next color. So, yeah, that's going to be good. It takes down a little of the brightness of it, which I happen to like. I like that it's peeking out through the background, you know, kind of just peeking. So, I might just dab it just a little bit in places, just a teeny bit so it can dry faster. I love that. Let's just take that off. <laughs> it's in our way. I like to tape it down sometimes just because it holds it in place, you know. But we're going to be moving it around now. So, all right. Now, I'm going to let this dry for a second, and I'm going to start working on the other one. All right. And I pulled out some blue. So, I'm going to put a little blue on here and some of these other colors. I did yellow, pink. Uh, let's see. Yellow, pink. I don't want the green. It's too bright. Let's try the blue, y'all. Let's see. Hopefully the blue will look good. Oh, it does. Okay. I like. And I'm going to put some of this coral on here, too. Here I was doing this the long way, like this, kind of. Right? And a little blue. Get some variation in background, you know? Okay. I like that. I want some of this bright yellow too, just a little bit. So let's dry that. All right, so I'm gonna add some of this um, yellow. Kind of, it's kind of a mustardy yellow, but I still like it. <laughs> you know, it can look cool because I have a lot of um, journals to work in, so I like to use different colors in different journals. You know. So like my Jane Davenport journals, when I collage in those, I like to have like brighter colors, you know, 
So with brighter, nice, pretty backgrounds or softer colors. For some of my other journals, I like the darker colors. So yeah, oh, that's going to be pretty. It's going to look a little different than the other one. All right, I'll let this dry. I just want to put a couple of coats on it so I can show you both of them sort of at the end. All right. This one, this one's drying. All right. With the tea spray on it. Uh, I think I'm going to do some salvage patina. Let's do some of that. This distress oxide. All right. So we'll just spray a little on there. Oh, ooh, that's pretty. So pretty. All right. All right, so, oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. It's very nice. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to let that dry. I'm not going to put any water on it because I just want it to dry just like that. It's going to be gorgeous. And you just continue to layer the colors however you want, you know. Well, however many you want. I don't know how many I've got on here. Like, I got like five coats of paint and so far two sprays and like three pencils. <laughs> So you see, you can layer all these things and make something really beautiful out of it. Okay. So, all right. So I'm putting this coral, this, uh, what is it called? Yeah. Satin coral on here. This is a target paint. I just thought it was kind of pretty, you know, it's like softer colors mixed with some brights. All right. So we just kind of mixed them both. I was trying to do soft colors, y'all. I really was. <laughs> uh, but the bright colors always get me. But again, we're going to take them down a little bit with some of the um, with some of the sprays and stuff. And I'm probably going to add a little gold paint to these. Yeah, we're going to jazz these up really good. So this is the second one. All right. Looking good. I think I'm going to do a little uh, rusty hinge. All right. The spray stain. All right, let's do that. I got to move this because I'm going to love that. Oh, look at that. It's going to be gorgeous. Right? See how it takes down that color, a little bit of that color, that brightness? It's beautiful. So that was three sprays so far. So you see how you can add, have the softer colors, the bright colors, and some darker sprays and how it gives this beautiful look to this background. It's absolutely gorgeous and so unique. And it's going to be gorgeous when we're done. So I pulled out my walnut ink, sort of my go-to, kind of like coffee staining. I don't have my coffee stain uh, mix. I have to mix it. <laughs> I keep telling myself I'm going to mix this downstairs. I put it down, everything downstairs so I can mix it. I haven't mixed it yet. So maybe by the next video, <laughs> I will have it mixed. Um... Yeah, so you can use, you know, your coffee, spray your coffee on here. That would be gorgeous, right? Or you could just use your ink sprays. And that's what I'm going to do here. Not too much because it's, it's kind of dark. So I think that's a, probably about all I want to use. Although, now here I want to just put a little water on here. Just to, uh, like, let it run a little bit. Just a little teeny bit. But it's still so pretty. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Really gorgeous. And you can blot. So if it's too dark in places, you know, you still have a little depth, but it won't be so dark, you know. So that's gorgeous. So that's one, two, three, four inks, four sprays, y'all. Five layers of paint and four sprays and three pencils. So this is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of layering. So I'm going to add some Mermaid Lagoon to this. I did it right there and it's gorgeous. So just sort of in places like that. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I think I want to just do like drops of it, you know. All right. Here, let's spray it with some water. All right. I like that. Oh, I love, I love, I love, it's a little much over here. Okay. I like that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to let this dry. Now for this one, I added some parchment acrylic paint. So I just wanted to just put a little white on there to see how it looked and I like it. 
you know, to kind of give it some variation from the other one that I made. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to add any more paint. I kind of like it the way that it is because I think that this will be great for layering uh, other things on here. So let's see. Put a little bit of acrylic ink on here and use some water. Okay. Let's hope that it works. <laughs> it should. Ooh. I like that. Just kind of subtle. You know, we let it run a little bit. Hold it up so it can run. I like that. And I like it. It's just in places, you know. Here, let's put a little. Uh, this one's too dark. This one. Is this the one I just had? Yeah. I like it a little. I like this. Okay. I like that. All right. All right. Now let's let this run. I have some really nice colors on here. All right. That acrylic ink. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay. All right. Here. Add some water to these. <laughs> All right. Here. Okay. There we go. Now it's running. Oh, look at that. Looks like a masterpiece. <laughs> Looks like a masterpiece. And this one was this brand. Okay, I got this at Michael's. And the name of this one, I think, is Turquoise. I think. Yes. It's Turquoise. Okay. Let's see at the bottom. And I think these run about six bucks at Michael's. And you can always use a coupon too. All right. I think that's the only ink I want to add. I don't want to add any orange, I don't think. Because I think it's too bright. Like I have this orange. I don't know. It might be okay. It's not really orange. It's like a yellow orange. I'll, when it dries, I'll see. Okay. So let's let it dry. Right. I'm adding a little parchment to this just because... Uh, just a little bit. Okay. All right. That's all I want to add, I think. Not too much here. All right. Okay, so there's that. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So we added, um, so I added a little bit of this uh, kitchen flamingo, and I like it. All right, so it's coming along nicely. A little uh, muddle there, but that's okay because you know what? By the time we do the mark making on it, it won't even matter. <laughs> you just have all these different colors peeking through the background, you know. So that's going to be fun. All right. I love that. So this might be the last thing that I add. Um, I don't think I want to add anything else. I just sprayed a little bit of the rusty hinge on here. The oxide. So I think I'm going to just let this dry. And then I will do just a little bit of um, mark making with acrylic ink. And then we will, you know, cut it up and see what it looks like. Okay. That one's okay. I really like this um, here with this one. All right, this is the second one. I put a little bit of tea dye spray and um, some of the Mermaid Lagoon. Those are really cute colors together. So I'm still add, you know, adding to the second one here. I love it. I'm going to let it dry. Okay. All right. Love this. Love, love, love. All right. Let's let these dry. And then we will go over the final steps. I might add a little gold and some of this, this uh, Chinese ink. And we will should be done, hopefully. Because, you know, once you put this in a journal, you cut it up or whatever you're going to do with it, put it in a journal. 
you're going to probably add more layers in the journal, right? So at least most of it is done for you. And you have yourself a great, pretty, interesting, and cool and fun background. Okay. All right. So for my leftover paint, I pulled out some, um, the copy paper that I showed you at the beginning. So I'm going to use the rest of this paint on those and make just, you know, a bunch of different designs of whatever's left on this plate. And I'm going to throw it away after that. So yeah, we'll have some additional pieces. Now I did pull out my ink. I poured this, um, Chinese ink, gold black. I poured it in my little dish here with my, one of my, uh, brushes here. I do have another one though, in case this one doesn't work. <laughs> this was like a three pack. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're like the little um, calligraphy brushes. <sighs> so I'm going to try to use those. And then, um, but I want to put some, a little bit of gold paint on here, just a little bit. So I have like a palette over here. Kind of created just that. And I'm going to just use my fingers. And this golden dries pretty quickly. So, so I'm going to just do. Go through and add just a little gold, a little shimmer, and I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to add the ink. Because the last time I did this, I didn't put any gold on it or anything. I just did the deep, you know, the, the brighter colors, and I thought, hmm, maybe next time I'll add gold. <laughs> so, yeah, just doing it like that, because I thought it was cool. Here, let's switch it around here, All right? All right, let's put it in different places. Just little, use that little bit up and let it dry. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Okay. All right. And then I have ladybug dollars I could use on this. That's the, um, you know, put dots on it. You can mark make on these. You can use your punches. Like I said, this is really for collage fodder. But you can just use this whole sheet as a background page if you want. Either or. It's still collage. <laughs> I just like to have pieces sometimes that I, you know, rip up that I have already ripped up or punched out. That way I can just glue it on a, like a project I'm working on. So that's what these are going to be for. But that is gorgeous. Look at that. All those beautiful layers. Try to get about 10 or 12 layers on it. Maybe 12. So five inks. Yeah. Five, at least five sprays. Yeah. Three pencils. Got it's got a lot. And this this uh, rice paper held up pretty good. That's what it looks like on the back. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gorgeous. This paper is great for collage. It lays down really nice in a journal. So, all right. Here, let's add my rusty hinge to the second piece. Okay. Rusty hinge and our tea dye. Just a little bit. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do the walnut stain on this piece. All right? So we're going to let this dry while we work on the other piece. You know, work simultaneously. So let's check our brushes. Let's see if this brush works. Let me see. I don't know. I like to test it first. Ooh, no, that's fabulous. All right. So I think I'm going to do is... Okay. Drag it around. Do it like that. It's kind of my little favorite, uh, you know marks to make <laughs> yeah all right so we're gonna let this dry this ink and then um, we'll be done all right very cool let's get on your mat it will seep through the page so Fabulous. Okay, it's gonna be fabulous. Really fabulous. Can you imagine stamping this with your stamps and doing some more mark making on here, like with some maybe some white paint or something, some white dots. You could put your you can do a number of things on this. So we're gonna let this dry, okay? I do like this. This is like 
one big thing here. All right. So, all right. Yay. This is the second one here. The other one is drawing with the mark making on it. So, let's use this. All right. Love that. Love. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the kitchen. Let me go. I like that it looks like it's got splatters on it. Right? Splatters. That's cool. Hi, love. All right. So it's mostly dry and it's gorgeous. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. The gold and the black on there, it's ready. I can put it in a journal just like this, right? I could use this whole sheet or just, you know, tear it up or cut it up or punch it out or whatever I want to do. So this is goes to show you that you can use bright colors and soft colors together, mix them together, you know, layer them and still have something fabulous because it's not so in your face, but there's a little bit of color, you know, except maybe like, you know, a little in just in pockets, which was, which would be nice in certain layouts, you know, right? Just beautiful. Not everything has to be so, uh, you know, the muted tones, you know, sometimes you can work with bright colors and still, you know, have something come out gorgeous, right? So now these are my Jane Davenport Ladybug Daughters. I use these a lot in my different uh, art. The only way you can get these is on her website, janedavenport.com, and they come from Australia. That's the only place you can get them. She doesn't sell them at any other store, so. All right. And I have this set. This is called the Spot On Set. I have all three sets. And then this one is called the Neon High Roller Set. So I pull these out to add, you know, color and um, mark making to my designs here. So that's what I'm going to do here. Right? So we like that. I just, you know, I have fun just putting dots on stuff. <laughs> I'm a dot person. I like dots, right? Okay. Because then when you, you know, tear it up or whatever, it's going to look really cool. So. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I love this pink. That's gorgeous. All right. Love, love, love. Love. Oh, my God, that's so pretty. Really pretty. Really pretty, right? And then use, I think I want to use a little red. And then I have brown, too, so... You know, I don't have to always use just bright colors to have other colors in here. This one is red, a red lollipop. Let's see, I use pink, pink uh, macaroon, and then black marble. All right. Again, you can only get these from um, her website in, in Australia. Okay, I have some other colors in here, right? Oh, that's cool. So, uh, I don't know if I want orange. Let's see. Let's just test it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. You can make big, bigger dots, you know, in just certain places. Okay, looks great with this gold and this black. That's really nice. Wow, beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. Love. Mix with the other colors. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I have other colors in here. And of course the neons, they always work out great. Uh, I don't think I want to use any neons. No. Mm. Let's try this aqua. Let's see. I don't know. You can always mix it with other colors, you know.
All right, it's fabulous, right? Fabulous. Very intuitive. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's such a cool background, y'all. Wow, wow, wow. Really nice. All right. All right, now, I am going to let this dry. And then um, I might just cut it up. I think I want to cut it up like I did the other one. Kind of like this one. I just put it on a paper trimmer and just cut it up in different, you know, sizes. So I can still, I can, you know, this is sort of big enough. I can use a small punch on this. I can punch something out if I want to. Just cut it up in different sizes or tear it up in different sizes. And then use it in your artwork. Look at that. That's so cool. That's kind of the same thing I did with these. As you can see, the dots on there with the mark making and all that, right? Just gorgeous. I didn't put any gold. Well, I did put a little gold on here, so... Yeah, a little, a little gold on some of them. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? And we will have a nice little, with the other one I made, it's still drying. So you can check out my Instagram, at Stephanie Garrett Creative, if you want to see the finished product. Because I think this video will be, it's going to be long anyway. But it's going to be extra long if I do all that to that piece. So you can check it out over there. I will post it. All right. And also on my, uh, in my Facebook page, on my Facebook page on, yeah, on Facebook. All right, at Stephanie Garrett Creative. All right, so yeah, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, so unique, so like original and very cool, right? Make your own collage fodder, you know, take your punches and punch them out. Wait, let me see. Here is what you can do. You can always just make sure, just trying to make sure that, you know, this works. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See that? Let's see. Let's put it through. Well, here, let's do it towards the end. To the end. Our punches. And then, oh, this is going to be cute because then we could just glue this right on our project, y'all. Oh, hold on. Let's pull it. This rice paper is kind of soft. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my God. So cute. So I'm going to make a few of these. Ooh. I like that. I don't really have, um, see this paper is so soft that you have to be careful. This rice paper, if you do it on copy paper, it should be fine. You know, be a little bit easier. I love that. I love that. All right. You can use your different punches, make your collage fodder, flowers, butterflies, you know, whatever you want to do. So you got to be careful here. It's not going in here. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. All right. Let's try it. Let's try it. Try it. Okay. There we go. That was only one of the things came up, but that's okay. It's so cute. So cute. Oh, I love that. Got a couple of butterflies. I'm just going to try to do this whole thing, y'all. Keep all your little extras because you can always collage that with something else. <laughs> Keep all that stuff, okay? Just uh, put in your punches. And then press down kind of hard. There we go. Oh, yay. So it doesn't have the antennas, but that's okay. It's beautiful. And look at that. I have such unique little pieces. Here, let's just take those off. We don't need those anyway. I mean, they'll be cute. We can draw them on if we want it to. All right. Let's just take those off. Now we have some cute little collage fodder for our journals. Okay. Isn't that just the cutest? So unique and so cute. Right? Gorgeous. I love all right, then we're going to keep this, keep these little bits. We can use those for collage. Okay, here, let's move this out of the way. It's kind of fat. <laughs> All right, we have a few butterflies. And then um, I'm going to use some of these other ones just because that's what I had intended for. Let's try the uh, ticket. Oh, no, this thing is so big. <laughs> uh I probably could, you probably could put some cardstock behind this and then stick it through the punch. Make it easier. Right. So, yeah, I'm just doing it with the paper, but you can probably put some collage, I mean, some cardstock behind the punch. Okay, so 
We got us a ticket. Look at that. That's cool. Right? Very cool. All right. Now we got us some cute tickets. I've done this once before with another project, so I just want to try it with this. And there we go. We got collage fodder, butterflies, tickets. You get the gist. So whatever punches you have, you can, you know, make your own fodder. There you go. Make a little bag of them and have them at the ready. I love that. Love. Love, love, love. Along with your bits here. We keep it all these. Because <laughs> then we can still, that'll be cool just to collage on a piece of paper just like that with the, with the cutouts like that. Oh, that's very cool. Yay. That'll look really cool. So we're keeping that, okay? All right. I don't know about these hearts. I don't have that many punches, so I have these heart, this heart punch. I don't know, but see, that's what it looks like. But I don't know. I like the the butterflies and the tickets. That's something I would use, you know. So there's that. So this is dry. So this is dry. So I'm just gonna cut it up into pieces, different sizes, so I can use it on. Uh, in my journal, I'm gonna cut it up like this. I like some bigger pieces just because so I can use it on different things. So I want that. I want like some bigger pieces of this, and then you can cut the bigger pieces into smaller pieces if you want, right? So strips. Okay. All right, and let's just do this one in half here. All right, look at that. Wow. Okay. So cool. All right, so I cut up my, I cut cut up the fodder, and it's all ready to go. It's ready to be uh, placed in journals. And I did it like this just so, you know, if I want to punch it out, I can. If I want to tear it up, I can. If I want to just put one big pe one piece like this in the journal and with this and another piece, I can, you know. Sky's the limit when you are doing something like this. This is so cute. I like this bright color. Y'all know I love bright colors. Oh my God. So cute. It is so cute. Right? Look at that. Such yummy fodder. I'm going to make some more with the darker colors. So I have different colors to work with, you know. I have my bright, pretty sort of um, graffiti looking colors. Because that's what this kind of looks like. You know. And I have my little bit more softer slightly softer tones here and i'm gonna have my deeper colors so yeah i hope this inspired you to make your own collage fodder all right so yay let's straighten it out so we can see how it looks <laughs> it's very cute i love it love 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 all right so you will be seeing me use this stuff in journals layouts coming up soon you know in different videos and stuff so definitely give me a follow on my social media i am at stephanie garrett creative on facebook instagram and twitter and at stephanie garrett designs over on facebook and instagram for my jewelry all right uh if you have any questions or comments leave it below and i'll answer and get back to you thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one ciao